What is going on guys, Shaddix here, and welcome back to another video where today we have some work to do. I think we're going to start with Team Aqua today, actually. Uh, this guy gives us rest right here, right? Uh, particular cabin in this cave, something about Team Aqua coming along. I uh, call nature solving. Yeah, okay. In the house we go for this. Yeah, you give me, like, rest. But you're not going to give me rest, you're going to give me TM44. Okay, so what's that going to be? Skip through all that dialogue, because you're very nappy. Uh, 44 is bite. That's actually not a bad move. Oh, that's not too terrible, anyway. I wish it was a little better. Uh, we're still in Lily Cove City out here, right? Perfect. This guy's training whale lords, but I'm going to go ahead and get our encounter for this route real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Um, I guess it doesn't matter which one we use. I think I am going to fish, though, because we haven't really fished much. We'll use the good rod. All right. I really, I would like my waylord back, but that's apparently not going to be possible. Dot, 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 dot. Yep, come on. Oh, bite. There we go. Pokemon's on the hook. All right, what is this route's encounter? It's cities. Clam Pearl. Okay, that's oddly normal to fish up, but okay. Unfortunately... We aren't really going to be able to utilize that very well because we can't evolve it. Uh, we should probably put you to sleep, though. Or do we just want to skip out on you as well, since we can't evolve you? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll attempt to catch you. I'm not going to put too much worry into it, just because since it can't evolve, it's almost entirely useless to us. I mean, having a Huntail or a Gorbis would be cool, because I've never used one in a playthrough before. But we kind of can't get one, so yeah, not sure about that. Can I even attack you with, like, headbutt and not kill you? No, I cannot. Wow. Those things do not have very good physical defense, apparently. All right, well, there goes that. Um, I believe we have to go to Slayport and go to the museum. Is there an item here? Soul Dew. Ooh. That's kind of an interesting item. Because that'll be used for... Um, we can get rid of the light ball. That's for Pikachu specifically. I believe that's for Latias and Latios. So I guess we'll pick that up on the off chance that we do get one. And then I want to go in here. I don't think we're going to be able to do this just yet. Because I do think we have to go to Slayport. And once we go to Slayport, we can actually um, get the Pokeblock case. What would we have ran into? Another water Pokemon. Very weird. Chincha would have been okay. As a water type. Um, but we do have um, Juaji, so I think we're, we're just gonna stick with that for now. Alright, Aqua Hideout. Can we find Pokemon in here? Is the question. Any Pokemon at all? Maybe? We'll try fishing once. Uh, it's highly likely that you can't even find Pokemon in here. Although, wait a minute. You can because there's one stagnant or two stagnant encounters, isn't there? Yeah, but those guys aren't gonna let us pass. So, off to Slateport, because we need to get the, um, well, we need to get something from Slateport anyway. Uh, but there is a hidden item down here, from them, or a regular item down here. I think down by the lighthouse, right? Whoa. Yes. Found a lychee berry. Okay. Interesting. So, we're going to go ahead and fly down to Slateport on the back of our flying cat, because that makes sense. And we're going to get the Pokeblock case so we can get our encounter in um, the Safari Zone. And then we can also get our encounters for Mount Pyre because we can take that direction as well. I don't know why I went in there. That was pretty useless. So they're going to be in there, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we're just going to go in here first. Um, I got confused because there's a little girl. Here she is. You give me the Pokeblock case. Yeah, okay. So, see, an emerald, she's in Lily Cove. That's what confused me. Because I, I was like, I swear she's in Lily Cove. But, no. Turns out, in Ruby and Sapphire, she's actually in Slateport. Now, are these guys going to be in here? No, they aren't. Maybe at Captain Stern's place? Uh, guys, I'm stupid. I really am. We saw them go up to Mount Pyre. So, we have to go there. Uh, first things first, though, I am going to fly here... Just so we can get the encounter for um, the Safari Zone. Alright, onwards to the Safari Zone. Alright, here we are. Now, we should be able to do this, right? Uh, welcome to the Safari Zone. You can $500 to play the game. Yep. 
we literally get one Pokemon out of here, so hopefully it's pretty okay. And I don't know if it's not a Safari Zone Pokemon. Are they even allowed to run? Because they might not have been programmed to do so. All right, let's find out. What are we going to get? Please be something cool. A Dugong. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'll definitely take a Dugong. Definitely, I mean, an Ice type is definitely going to be useful at some point or another. The question is, is can you run? I'm not entirely sure if you can. I mean, Dugon's fully evolved. I would have thought, I would think that it's got a pretty high flea rate in this far zone. But I guess we'll find that out, huh? Uh, okay, no, so they are programmed to flee. Well, that sucks. What else could we have gotten here, I wonder? Let's take another check or two, just curious. Another Chin Chow. That's definitely interesting. All right, and uh, did we get one more before we go off to Mount Pyre? Which is also going to be another encounter, by the way. Which I'm excited for. Uh, we could have gotten a Shuppet as well. Okay, that's interesting. Oh well. Not too big of a deal. Alright, let's go ahead and... Um, no. Oh wait. So we could re retire, but I actually don't want to do that. Now that I think about it. Because there's items in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look around and see if I can find any items. Here's an item. Really? An Awakening? That's trash all right uh there's got to be some other items here though all right so our time's up i'm not gonna worry about items uh maybe i'll come back for items later on but we don't really need them so we're gonna go ahead and do mount pyre first i think cut this down and we're gonna deal with team aqua and then we might go down to the route below us we've already got an encounter for this route though so we don't need to worry about that and then uh, we can go ahead and do Mount Pyre here. There's a ton of trainers in Mount Pyre too, on some of the upper levels, but we are just gonna do this for now. We'll come back and do some of the extra trainers, probably before the league, but this is Mount Pyre, so what do we got? Ah, okay, so this is going to be difficult to catch, but I'm all for having a ground type. Like having a Tyranitar might be really, really cool. Do we have anything like Tyranitar? I don't think we do. The only problem with Tyranitar really is the whole sandstorm thing. That's kind of unfortunate. So let's go ahead and see if we can catch this. This is like the first decent Pokemon we've found in quite a while. I like that. Yeah, you can hurt me with your sandstorm and stuff and leave me alone. Alright, what do we got? Um, what do we got for Pokeballs? Great Ball, Pokeball, Ultra Ball, and a Nest Ball. That's really not the best. We could attack this thing with Headbutts for sure. Or Rock Smashes even, which I think we're going to have to do. Um, Screech, not that bad. Sandstorm, yeah, and you're asleep. Perfect. Uh, fight, yeah, we're just going to Rock Smash you, I think. It's going to lower something or another. Special Defense, maybe? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Your defense fell. I can't, I can't attack you with another Rock Smash. Because it might actually kill. Which isn't good. I don't want that. Um, mm. Do I go for an Ultra Ball then? I, I don't want to leave this battle without catching this Tyranitar at all. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we're just going to Ultra Ball it from here, I think. Having a Tyranitar on the team is definitely going to be very, very helpful. Do we got it? First go? Oh, nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to name this thing. All right, so this is our mountain. It's actually a reference to Game of Thrones. So we are going to, this is a different route, right? This is a, a Cyndaquil would have been cool as a fire type. Uh, but the, we are naming, can't escape, that's baloney. We're naming it the mountain from the mountain from Game of Thrones because he's a very, very big dude. And we are very lucky, lucky to have him because he's definitely going to help us out. Thank you. All right, so this Mount Pyre and this Mount Pyre. Okay, so they're all one location. Uh, 36, 36, 39, 36, 35. Okay, so let's move Georgie out front while we go and deal with uh, these mountains. And there's some more items here I'm super excited for. Uh, let's see. This is the first one. Please be something useful. TMO2. All right, what are you going to be? Put in the pocket bag. Hmm. All right, what do we got? 
double slap? Okay, well that's not exactly useful. Thanks a bunch. Onwards, up and up and up we go. Here's another item. A Thunderstone, okay. Not that that's too useful either. I don't think we really need a Thunderstone right now. I think this is an item. Silk Scarf, don't think we're gonna bother with a Silk Scarf. And there's probably an item up this way. Oh my god! No way! Oh. 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 No way. We just got a Master Ball. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh, okay, so first things first. Uh, save. Because I don't want anything to go wrong here. To where we can't use that thing. Or can't find it again. Oh my gosh. Guys, we might have just gotten so saved. Oh, please tell me we find a legendary. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna do this to pull you out because there's probably there's items behind some of these guys that we're gonna have to check out. Oh man, I am my heart's racing. I'm so glad we have a master ball. That is so lucky. Oh my gosh, another chin chow. That's like the third one this this video actually. What is going on? Uh, I guess we'll use uh, it's probably got static, so I'm gonna have to heal up or something because I can't just sit here and surf you the whole time. Alright, Chin Chow is down. We didn't get paralyzed, which is good. Um, Sableye. We'll stick in for Sableye, because why not? Thank you. Surf. Boom. Now what? Oh, wow, we didn't one-shot you. Okay. Don't use too many Fury Swipes on me, because that's not cool. That's very unprofessional of you. Uh, I said not too many. There you go, you did four. You did... Oh my gosh, you did five? I don't like that. That's very rude. Alright, so save lies now out of here. Sweet. Alright, Georgie, there you go. Uh, Jacqueline's sending out Shedinja. Oh. I almost didn't change out, but I actually have to change out to save your chick for the super effective moves, because this is going to have Wonder Guard. Which means the only moves we can use on it are super effective ones. And I think there's only five types of moves you can actually use on a shit engine. Luckily, though, it has literally one HP, so we literally cannot not one-shot this thing. Perfect. Okay, shit engine's gone. Awesome. Save your chick 610 um, XP. Stand up alone to Team Aqua. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and check these uh, places behind all these people. I don't remember if any of, or which one of these, if any, have um, uh, items. I know there are items back here, though. Uh, whoops, wanted that. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so nothing there. So that's why I thought you had to pull this guy out in order to get an item, because I think there's items behind each one of them, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, Moo Moo Milk, that's not too useful. I can just buy more heals if I need. Okay, so that one wasn't all that useful. This one I don't think needs to be pulled out. He doesn't have an item behind him. The next guy will need to be pulled out then. The question is, do we battle Archie? I don't remember, actually. All right, and more Jacklins. What is with Jacklin? It's like everyone's name is Jacklin. I'm ki it's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, that's not just me. If you could just go ahead and be fully paralyzed this move, too, that'd be cool. I didn't want that. Don't confuse me. Okay, perfect. Body slam again. Definitely gonna need to heal Georgie up. Um, or swap him out, one of the two. Although I'm level 36, so now I can swap him out for just about anything, because we're all the same level. Spinda is a fire type. Or is it a normal type? I want to say it might be both. I don't actually know, though. I don't think there's anything it could really use to hurt me all that much. Um, as long as it doesn't crit the side beam anyway. Oh, confusion. Um, honestly, it's worth switching out, I think, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and swap out Zip Zap, just because I don't want Georgie to hurt itself, and then it used, like, Dizzy Punch or something and knock me out, because that'd be unfortunate. Faint attack. Okay, not bad. Should be able to survive that nice and easy. And then we'll just quick attack you and you should be gone. Right? Yeah. Is that the end of the battle? I think that's the end of the battle. 
Perfect. Yep, we beat Jacqueline for like the millionth time. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess we'll just bring in Zip Zap, just because I like using Zip Zap. Zip Zap's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and pull you out to get whatever item might be behind you. If any, there might not be. I know there's theoretically a rare candy behind one of these guys. I'm one not sure which one it is, but it's not going to be a rare candy, so. Oh, perfect. Uh, water type. Although it might be water rock at this point. I guess we're about to find out. It could one shot. It might not one shot. It one shot. I'll take it. I will definitely take that. Thank you, Zip Zip, for one shotting that. Really appreciate it. Uh, Victory Bell, not sticking with Zip Zap. We're going to bring in Savior Chick to deal with this nice and quick. Go, save your chick. Thank you very much. Victory Bell. Gonna get a pretty decent amount of XP from this. I would like to know, like, Flamethrower or something instead of Blaze Kick, to be honest. I think the accuracy is better. Or so it would seem, anyway. Alright, so we beat you yet. Yeah, just don't talk to me. Okay. What do we got up here? Nothing. Nothing. And Pokemon. Just an Arcanine. Don't have to be too scared. Almost used a move. That would have been unfortunate. Okay, that's just a guard spec. Don't need that either. Alright, let's go check behind this dude. Hello, buddy. Eh. Nope. And no. Anything here? Okay, just nothing there. Alright, Archie. What do you got for me? Why, hello. You've impeded our planes repeatedly, but this time you're too late. The Red Orb has rested atop Mount Pyre. I, Archie, claim it as mine. Finally, I can realize my grand design. Come on, crew. It's Slateport next. All right. So I do go to Slateport now. That's where I go to Slateport. Um, never been separated for too long. Hmm, fine. Take the blue orb. Gee, thanks. All right. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, but we can't actually be in here when we go to... Uh, the whatever it's called. Dude, we, we can't fly out of here for some reason. That's, it's kind of weird. I think we can fly out of here, though. Fly? Yes, we can. All right. Slayport City, here we come. And then once we get to the point where they're going to be at Lily Cove, then we're going to go for um, uh, the route beneath Mount Pyre because we do have this Master Ball now. So we could get a decent Pokemon out of here. Hopefully, anyway. We can literally catch anything we want, so hopefully we can get a legendary. Slayport City. Yes, indeed. Yeah, okay, well. Move out of my way. There's a whole lot of unnecessary dialogue. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. You're talking about going to Slayport. Qua ha ha, we'll meet you in Lily Go. Yeah. There's just so much unnecessary dialogue here. <laughs> All right, well, now that we did that quick thing, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to fly. Um, where do we have still that'll give us new encounters? We have this route here, which is Route 123 beneath Mount Pyre. And I think that's it. Then after we beat Team Aqua, we get this route here. But there's like seven different routes in this area. There's probably like a total of ten between all of the rapids Pacific Log Town, this area, there's just a lot. So we do still have a really good chance at getting a legendary here. And I think just for the possible opportunity to get a legendary, I think we're going to go ahead and go down here to get this encounter. I think we're going to skip the trainers for now, though, because we do have a Master Ball, so we're just in it for the encounter. So let's go ahead and head south. All right, here we are, Route 123. There are trainers back here. We will come back and battle them, I promise. I just want this, the grass. Please be a legendary, come on. Uh, Bulbasaur, okay, okay, no. So this is actually Dupes Claws because we've gotten a Venusaur, so we can run into something else. Sweet, all right, so we might still get a legendary. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I've run into so many legendaries at this point. It's like, just please give me one when I can catch it. Meowth is also Dupes Claws, because Persian. Okay. Sweet. Run away from you. Come on. What do we got? Doduo. Okay, that's not Dupes Claws. That's just poops. So I guess we're going to go ahead and catch you, right? 
Uh, we'll see if we can swift you once or twice. Not too powerful of a move. Perfect. Looks fine to me. Oh. Okay, that... That sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can catch this super fast without using our Master Ball. And we might actually get a second Master Ball, because I don't know if the Master Ball item you pick up off the floor in that place is going to be changed. Well, we caught that first try. All right. So, because it's Poo Claws, we're just going to name it Poo Bird. Right? I mean, that's really, that's the only thing we can name it, I feel. All right. Oh, oh. And then over here to the B. I hate typing like this so much. All right, we have Pooh Bird going to the PC. We'll see you in the PC, Pooh Bird. There's not too many trainers over here, so we will have to come back here at some point or another. But because there's a encounter in the Lily, Lily Cove hideout, or the whatever hideout place it's called, I would like to go in and go get that encounter. Because where you get the Master Ball, it's guarded, I think. There's two two electrodes, theoretically, and a Master Ball and, like, a Max Ether or something, or Max Elixir, something like that. But the thing is, is because it's a stagnant encounter, those electrodes aren't going to be electrodes. So we're actually going to head in here instead of battling that route this video. And we are going to battle everyone, like this guy running around in circles. Why, hello. Suspicious character spotted. Sure. All right, let's see. You shouldn't have anything too outrageous, right? All right, and what do you have? Plus all, not too bad to start out. We do have a non-electric type move, right? We have swift and quick attack. I'm just gonna use swift because I don't remember if this is a um region, not region. Oh, what what is it even called? I don't. I honestly don't remember. But um, in some of the games later on, a electric type Pokemon cannot be paralyzed or something, and I don't remember if this is one of those games. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't do I don't do hard and repeatedly. No thanks. That just sounds awful. All right, zip zap. We're gonna go ahead and swip, swap you out. All right. Let's see. Who do we want to use though? Hmm. Let's do Shadow just to get it over with, because I don't want to have to use Shadow for some of the bigger battles, because I don't really know that great of moves right now. Are there any items down here? I don't think so. Alright, well, let's just go up here. Oh, hooray. These things. I remember these. These are just awful. Alright, we have you running back and forth, and we're just going to skip you for now. Thank you very much. Oh, jeez. These things. I think I remember the pattern. Okay, it's this, 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 and then this. Ah! Okay, now here's the room with the encounters, actually. It should have something here. Okay, it's a cherry berry. Now, what is this supposed to be? This is usually the Master Ball. It's an elixir this time. Ouch! Well, it's a good thing we already got a Master Ball. Okay, so here's one of our, or here's our encounter. Why'd that not sound very good? It's Tentacool. Don't we already have a Tentacle? We might already have a Tentacle. So I don't know if this is Dupes Claws or not. Oh well. We're just gonna go ahead and faint it with Karate Chop. And see what the other one is. It is a static encounter, so it's possible it might not actually count. But, oh well. I'm not gonna worry about that. What's this one gonna be? Now that sounded like a legendary bird. Do we catch it? Hang on, hang on. I have to look something up first, okay? I have to make a decision on how I want to play the Nuzlocke. Now, in a lot of Nuzlocks, people count static encounters, like overworld encounters, as different Pokemon, like all of the elect electrodes you would have found in like the Mauville, new Mauville place would each be a different encounter because they're static overworld encounters that you interact with. 
I could do it like that and catch this how out. Or I could keep doing what I have been doing and making static encounters not count and not catch this how out. Do we dare? I think I'm gonna stick with how it's been the entire playthrough, and unfortunately, I think we're gonna faint this hell out. As much as it's going to absolutely gut me to do it, we have been choosing not to have static encounters count the whole playthrough, and I don't think we should change that now. I'm sorry, ho -Oh. out. I should have clicked on you first. No. I don't know what to do. Oh, I feel so bad. All right, it looks like we're heading back uh, to continue on with the Aqua Grunts. I'm sure we might run into another legendary a bit later, so I'm not too worried about it. But man, ho oh, it would have been so nice. It would have been so nice. Just absolutely awesome. All right, Scarlet. You have Execute. That's not too bad. We can handle Execute. Surf, Faint Attack, Cut, Karate Chop. I guess we'll go with Karate Chop, maybe. Okay, that was a terrible idea. Uh, Leech Seed, I evaded. Perfect. Cut. Uh, this is just going to be miserable, isn't it? And then we'll uh, just do this. There we go. Well, now we got to get Shadow out of here. Kabuto. Yeah, we're going to get uh, uh, get you out of there. Uh, 37. No. I guess we're going to use Belly Boy for this. Man, I'm so gutted about the Ho-Oh. -Oh. That's so awful. Ugh. It's like all the other legendaries, it's like at least we couldn't catch them. This one we could have had, because we had um, we have a Master Ball and everything. So this one just feels so much worse than all of the others. Ah, oh, man. Vaporeon. Uh, we're just gonna bring out Zip Zap. We're not gonna mess around with not using uh, super effective damage moves. Uh, my stomach kind of hurts. I'm not gonna lie. My stomach really hurts right now <laughs> from, from that. Alright, super effective, not bad. Sand attack, that sucks. Well, it looks like we hit it on the first try anyway, so it didn't really matter. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, man, my stomach hurts so much right now. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, well, where are our berries? Because we now have to uh, cure some poison. All right, Shadow, you've been cured. Let's go ahead and run into this guy. Want to know the secret about the hideout? Oh, we have a we have a boss battle coming up too, don't we? Ooh, sweet. I think this is where we might actually battle Archie for the first time. Ooh, Slowbro. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that. Wait, are you part psychic type in this game? Or in general? Let's find out. Oh, he is. Oh, this is going to be so much easier than I thought. Wingle? Um, it doesn't have super effective damage, so I think I'm just going to stick with Shadow. And just use Cut. I'm going to cut it down to size. There we go. Uh, Kabutops again. This I will swap in Zip Zap for just to take it out. Again, that's the second Kabutops this game. Which is weird that we keep running into the same stuff. But I mean, I guess I'll take it. Why not? Uh, Thunder Punch. Good luck. This should one-shot it unless it's got, like, really high defense or something. Eh, nope. Didn't have it. <laughs> Alright. Speed through the that stuff. Houndoom. Alright. We can actually swap back to Shadow to use Surf. Perfect. Uh, two hits. Not that bad. And now we're level 37. So we beat Leo. And we can go ahead and swap these out instead of using shadow now i am gonna use belly boy because belly boy is just so slow i'm not entirely sure how good belly boy is i mean he's really beefy and tanky but that doesn't necessarily make him all that great right now to be honest 
Not sure how I feel about it, but I do like him. He knows some solid moves. Like Body Slam? Look, just one shot that Clefairy. Alright, I want to move on to the boss battle. Um, it's not that. That leads me somewhere entirely different. I believe, anyway. Yeah. But I will go back for all the items after I defeat Archie. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Okay. So, stagnant encounters count as a regular encounter, and we did catch that other one. So, we can't actually fish in the water. Um, where the submarine's gonna end up being. I'm not even entirely sure we can. That's a camera up, right? Pretty sure? Yeah. This is You're on the wrong team, camera up. You're supposed to be on team magma. So that's a little weird. All right, nice crit. Takes it out in one shot. Perfect. And then next room. We should be there relatively soon. I think this might actually be the last trainer we have to battle. Uh, before we get to the boss battle of this place. All right, how many Pokemon do you have? Just the one, okay. Uh, Vibrava should be able to take you on pretty easily. The only problem is missing, which we didn't even do. Perfect. He's trying to learn block. No thanks. Don't think that's going to be that great of a move. Uh, now let's go ahead and move Belly Boy out from in front. Uh, we can go ahead and switch in Juaji. Perfect. All right. What do we got? Here's the boss battle. Hello. This is Archie, isn't it? Or it's supposed to be. Maybe. I don't actually remember. I think it is. Okay, bay leaf. Um, I'm not a fan of having Juaji out front when there's a bay leaf, so I will switch and save your chick. Thank you. That's enough. Come back. Yep. And then after this battle, I will go through and look at all the other items as well. Really? Poison powder? Bay leaf? Really gonna go with that? Alright, well, we one shot you. Perfect. What do you got next for me? Star you. Okay, that sounds like a zip zap job to me. Would be a grass type Pokemon job, but we don't actually have one of those anymore. Alright. Thunder Punch should be nice and easy, and then hopefully he doesn't have anything too outrageous for his last Pokemon. And then this should have been the last battle, and then I'll just go through and see if I can find all the items. Because there's, uh, like, probably one or two more. Dunsparce, I'm not even entirely sure what his typing is. I think, it, is it just normal? It might be just normal. So maybe I'll just stick with this and I'll see if I can mess around with a couple horn drills. Or just one horn drill, okay. That 30% accuracy has really been nice to me this playthrough, hasn't it? Alright, so this should be level 38 then. Oh, we are just short of it. Alright. Hee hee hee, while I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and... Ooh, yeah, hang on. Get rid of that poison as well. Or actually, something else we're going to do before we move on is we're going to get the encounter... Mm, no, we're not going to get the encounter. We're just going to save all the uh, water encounters for our next episode, I think. But we are going to go ahead and look for these items real quick. I think one's in this room, right? Yep. What is this going to be? A chesto berry? Well, that was definitely worth it, wasn't it? Is there an item in here? Or through this one? Yep. All right. What is it? A hard stone, also not useful. So that was the last item we needed, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and head out. We're just going to heal up real quick. And then we are going to end off the video. We did pretty good for ourselves. Although we do not have a legendary. Although we could have had a ho -Oh. It's very, very sad. But we can move on to Masadeep City next. Where we can take on the next gym and everything. And we have so many different encounters. Uh, thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, one thing I am going to do. Is um, in between videos... Uh, we are definitely uh, swapping in uh, Mountain here, but I am going to have to train him up, so that does have to be in between videos. But that is all for today, guys. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and comment down below. Rip the ho-oh, because it's, that is just very sad. It's absolutely just the saddest moment of the series. No, I'm kidding. The death of our three Pokemon that were very loved 
was sadder, but still rip the ho ho. But that, that is all, guys. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, comment down below. Ring the bell. YouTube things. You know, every everyone knows the YouTube stuff you gotta do. And then I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace.